Hello, my dear friends. I am Ulrika and Lundu Mon Card Reader, but today we will do your uh, we will do your financial card reading. Uh, these cards are more like a kind of guides. Uh, they tell you uh, if it's time to save some money, maybe you need to uh, do some uh, things in your life for changing your uh, financial condition. Anyway, there are all kinds of possibilities here with these cards. We will see here, Leo, where it leads uh, for your sign for the month of June. So, uh, my Leo friends, here we go for your uh, financial card reading for the month of June. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to your financial card reading for the month of June. As your first card here, we see the card of youth or playfulness. Uh, this is a good card for uh, for Leo. They like to uh, sometimes have um, uh, some relaxation. They like to uh, enjoy life here. Uh, but uh, also, you know, the famous diction boys will be boys and girls just want to have fun. This is also connected to these cards. So probably also you had some fun, some financial recklessness in the past, but it uh, probably cost you also some things maybe you had some suffering here for certain outbursts for certain things that you bought in your life um, we know that regardless a person's age uh, cash management and um, optimization of cash management it uh, requires uh, maturity here and this awareness of course it's accentuated and perfected as we get older and even then, sometimes we go over uh, the border. This is the normal cycle of life. However, uh, those uh, those people who have been uh, able to quickly control their consumption habits, of course, they are strongly favored compared to the other peers. So here we are asked uh, with this card to reflect over a few uh, new ideas, uh, compare your situation to that of your peers. And uh, here we are asked to make an evaluation if we are already mature or do you still have spendthrift or are you already old and wise with your money and do you control your powers. This card tells us also that uh, we are never too young to be financially mature and of course we are never too old to change financial behaviors if you have the advantage of youth and at the same time your financial uh, uh, financially matured. This card tells you that your efforts, even in these difficult times, will be greatly rewarded. If you have the assets of being older, wiser, and experienced, use those abilities, of course, in your advantage. Enjoy life gifts with moderations and adjust to the times, and your rewards will follow soon. The next card uh, that we are seeing here is the card of budget. What does this card tells us? Well, um, here it tells us that uh, financial fulfillment or financial um, destiny, it, uh, it, it has a form of leadership. Uh, for some, this is an easy exercise. Uh, they follow a serene uh, planning here. For others, accountancy, well, uh, it's like uh, something out of a science fiction movie and they are unable to balance their budget. Of course, it's up to you to determine what kind of type uh, you are. Um, here, uh, if you are a person that has, uh, that has no budget in here, um, Ask yourself here, what has gone wrong in the past? Maybe there is a form of weakness uh, in your budgeting here um, and, and we need to make some adjustments. If you are able to make some adjustments, also this card asks you to incalculate unforeseen expenses because this is also the card of unforeseen expenses. For instance, if you have calculated for buying something, whatever, making, I'm just giving an example here, making adjustments to your house, uh, buying, um, anything that that you that requires for the household mostly it means this card that we are off that our calculation is not correct so you need to add with this card it's uh, safe to say that it's about 10 percent that you are off with your calculation so double check all the expenses that you are about to make uh, and calc and add 10 percent so you're uh, safe in the areas if you want to make expenses anyway uh, we see here also with this uh, with this card that we need to adjust financially, uh, adjust our situation. We cannot be too youthful here. We cannot always go in discounts here and we need to mature uh, here with this card. We cannot be stubborn. Maybe it's related to the times. Uh, maybe it's an, a, another thing. We need to find an alternative here for getting uh, more mature with, uh, with our finances. Um, what you can do also, if you always use the credit card, sometimes for some people this can be an alternative, is paying cash. Why is paying cash an alternative? Well, if you put the money upfront in your wallet and as you pay, you see the money disappearing out of your wallet. 
And of course, if the money is gone, you know that it's gone. And every time you hand over money, it will trigger a pain reaction in your brain. So you will realize that you spend the money. We don't have this feeling if we pay with cash. We just put the card on the machine and the money is gone. So there's a difference here. And this could all also be a way for balancing your balance. For some people, this works out very well. Anyway, um, be careful here if you do certain, uh, certain spendings. By determining here which uh, method is best for you, you will find more balance with this card. The last card is the card of uh, discounts. Uh, here it tells us that you probably love the chase of uh, finding discounted items. Uh, maybe you are the, the type that uh, finds out the section of liquidation in hoping uh, to find a beautiful object, maybe a pair of shoes, pair of clothing, maybe an electronic uh, gadget uh, that by coincidence that is in discount that you already uh, wanted for a long time. But here this card tells us also we need to understand that every time we buy an, an, a discounted item, you need to make sure that you get a good deal. Because some of these uh, companies are quite smart and they add first uh, to the price and then they give you the, the discount. So this card is also uh, that we need to keep our feet on the ground. We cannot be overwhelmed, bewitched by certain sales. So keep your head cool here. Uh, question yourself here if the price is correct. And of course, the, the most important question, do you need these articles? By always looking for these discounts or chasing these discounts, probably you spend more than you anticipated. And the question is again, is this really necessary? Um, of course, uh, if, you, um, if you want to make some savings, this is also the card in the other side from savings here, um, and you're planning something, what you could do here also for adjusting certain budget is buying in bulk. Uh, I don't know, maybe you plan something because this is also the card of bulk buying. What we need to see with this card is if we buy in bulk, or maybe you are a person who buy in bulk for making discounts, that of course we are able, especially if it's food, that we are able to, to eat this food before the expire date. Um, because sometimes we buy in bulk, we are unable to eat it, and then we catch ourselves giving it away to the neighbors, to brothers or sister. It's not that you cannot be a charitable uh, person. Of course, uh, Leo, they are very charitable, but this is, of course, not the intention of this card. If you want to give gifts to your brothers or sisters or neighbors, this is fine. But this, this is not what, what bulk buying is for. Bulk buying is for really economizing. So you need to uh, think wisely if you do bulk buying here with this, uh, with this card here. Uh, also, maybe some uh, times you buy articles and later on you catch yourself bringing them to recycling. So, of course, that's also not the intention. So um, if you can... Uh, be wise with your money, ignore also discounts, liquidations, and your wallet, wallet will improve by it in these uh, financial, uh, more difficult times. Anyway, Leo, this is all for this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser with this card reading. If you're interested in the classic Lenormand card readings, I do also classic Lenormand card readings. They are very much into details, and they, of course, require more of your time. And uh, we also do spiritual card readings. The spiritual card readings are more like guides for going in that way of your life, or maybe there are certain problems with uh, certain people around you or how you can improve certain contexts. This is all in more in the spiritual card readings. Anyway, you check it out. Um, I want to thank you for your time, of course, also um, that you spend on my channel. Thank you for considering subscribing and we see each other next time, my dear friends. Bye-bye for now.